in this playwright api testing tutorial we are going to see how to create post api request using dynamic json file in playwright so let's navigate to the vs code so firstly we will create a json file which has the dynamic format of api request body so inside the test hyphen data folder i'm creating one file called post underscore dynamic underscore api sorry so here i'll say post dynamic request body then after that i'll say json so that's it guys so here i will go back to the post request body file and simply i will take the api request body and i'll come back to the post dynamic request body file and here i'll add the api request body say for example you can pass all the data whatever you are seeing in this request body you can pass all the data at the runtime you can uh, create and pass the test data at the runtime so here i want to pass only first name last name and additional nits so i'm going to pass the three parameters at the runtime so here i will so wherever i want to pass the data at runtime so those fields i will pass the value as flower brackets within flower brackets simply i'm adding the index numbers so this is the first parameter first name and next i want to pass the last name so here i'll say within the flower bracket i'll say one and then i'll say the third field is additional needs so here i'll say the two as the index value within the flower brackets so you can basically say for example if you want to pass the runtime data data for the check-in and check-out also so there you can simply pass the within flower bracket you can pass the index number so based on that you can update the request body at the runtime and then we can create the required api call so this is all about creating the dynamic api request body now let's quickly create a one simple function that will help us in formatting the original string and also list of parameter values so for example i want to pass the data first name last name and additional needs so after passing all those data i need i should have the one final data that is a json object right like this so that's the reason i'm going to create a one simple function that will does that particular functionality so here i'm creating one folder called utils under utils i'm creating a one js file called common dot js that's it so here i'm just i'll copy and paste one simple function you can go to my github repository and in the repositories section you can search with crm so here you will find the one repository called microsoft d365 crm playwright framework you can go inside this repository under the utils folder we have a one file called common.js and if you look at this very first function in the line number eight and nine so we have the one exportable function called string format so which will accept the one string as an argument and then it will accept the list of arguments and if you look at the replace string replace function so here we have written a simple lambda expression so wherever we are seeing the flower bracket within the index within that if we are finding the index number so simply we are replacing that value and finally string format will return the final updated string based on the original string and the list of values so simply i will copy this particular function and i will come back to the vs code and i'll paste it here so that's it guys so it is very simple so this will accept the original string that means we are going to pass this particular string and after that wherever we want to update for example first name i want to update it so list of values i will be passing over to this particular string format function so this is all about the test data creation and the simple function creation so that is going to help us in creating the runtime api request body so now let's quickly create a one simple spec file inside the tests folder so simply i will copy the api request sorry so simply i will copy this one of the spec file that is a post api request zero to spec file and i'll paste it inside the tests folder and then i will rename the file with post api request 04 dot spec dot js so that's it and here i will update the test name first so here i'll say create post api request using dynamic json file so that's it guys now what we have to do is firstly we have to read the this particular json file so if you look at in the line number four so we are reading the other json file this one now let's read the our latest created post dynamic request body json file so simply i will add the 
file name here at the end so already we have written the statement and then i will specify the file name here so that's it guys so this particular variable booking api request body holds the dynamic api request body right now so once i'm having the original string so that means the data from the json file so simply i will call to the this particular string format method to use this particular function in the my current spec file so we have to import the common js file within this we have the string function so that's the reason i will import it by using the import statement so here i'll say string format so that's it guys then you can say import from the utils hyphen common so in this particular common js class we have the function called string format so this is accepting the one original string and also it is accepting the list of arguments so right now we have the original string is ready and we have to pass the runtime data so that is a first name last name and additional names so these data we have to pass it at the runtime then it is going to return us the final string from the string format then we can use that particular final string for the post function sorry post api call so here i will start using the string format function and for that function we have to pass the first one is original string so what i will do is so this particular variable is holding the original string in the sense original api request body that means we have, we have created a dynamic request body so that data is present inside the booking api response body sorry request body so i will take this particular variable and i will convert this particular json object into the string by using the json dot stringify and inside this one i will pass the json object whatever we have read it from this particular json file and after that so this is a one parameter this is the original string what we are passing it now we have to pass the rest of the string data so firstly we have to pass the so if you look at this json file firstly we have to pass the first name second parameter is the last name and third parameter is additional needs so here i will go to the again spec file so let's pass the first name as tester stock here i'll say cypress and then i will say the last name as tester stock javascript and i will say the last parameter that is additional needs so here i will pass the value as apple that's it guys so this particular string format function what it does it will takes the original string and it gives the updated string whatever we whatever the values we here we have passed it so this will that particular function will accept this list of values and it will update the original string and it, it returns back the another updated string so that's the reason here i will save that string into the one variable called here i'll, here I'll say dynamic request body sorry guys yeah that's it so now so once we are having the dynamic request body simply we have to pass this particular object into the our post call so simply i will take this particular string so we have to convert this string into the json object so that's the reason what i will do here is so inside the data object so simply i am converting our string into the json object by using json dot parse inside the parse simply i am passing the dynamic request body so this is the update updated request body what we have based on the parameters data what we are passing over here and by considering the our dynamic request body json file right so that's it guys now so if i come down so this code will work fine because we are validating the status code and after that we are simply printing the api response body and finally here we are validating the first name last name and uh, we are validating the check-in date and checkout date so let's add the proper values over here so here we have to add the first name and last name so whatever we are passing above here simply here we have to pass the first name first and secondly we have to pass the second name also sorry last name also and 
also we have to verify the check-in date and check-out dates are appropriately added so here it is the 2018 11 and 2019 11 so let me cross check these values so here also it is a proper so that is fine guys so let me summarize what we have done so far so firstly we have created the one json file which is a dynamic json file so which will accept which where we can pass the runtime data and we can update it and then we can convert into the json object we can pass on to the post api call so this is a json file what we have created and after that we have created a simple common.js file and inside this we have implemented one simple function so that will take care of the original string and it will it is going to update the string based on the number of parameters and the data based on the index what we specified in the json file and after that we have created a simple spec file and here we are simply making the post api call and within that so we are getting the dynamic request body by using the string format so that's it guys it's very simple so after making the post api call here we are validating the status code and the api response so that's it guys now let me run the playwright test so if you see here guys our test is working fine so let me open the output also and if you see here guys so we got the unique booking id and if you see the first name so this is what the particular name what we have passed at the runtime what we have created the first name and last name also you can check it so we are getting the proper values and also here we can see the additional needs also we have updated right so we have provided the apple as the data right so if you pass different data also let's say this time i will pass orange so if i run the test so it is going to create the runtime api request body and finally it will makes the post api call if you see here guys so we are able to create the booking and then you can observe the additional needs value so right now orange is coming right so this is how you can create the dynamic api request body and then you can make the required api call using playwright